Hey lovelies, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anita. In this channel, guys, I film about face related topic, lifestyle in Cyprus, and all that you need to know about nursing. Okay, I'm a nursing student of Near East University, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to share with you the list of courses you need to do for 100 level students. Yeah, for those coming to study here in Near East University, I can't really say for other countries because I've not studied nursing in other countries, but I believe that some of the courses I'll be mentioning here will be quite similar with the courses you'll be doing in other countries okay so guys i have there with me the list of courses you'll be doing for those coming to study nursing here in near east university this is for 100 level first semester and this is for 100 level second semester okay so without further ado guys let's just dive straight into today's video all right guys so the courses you'll be doing in your 100 level first semesters are you'll be doing anatomy physiology you'll be doing histology you'll be doing psychology you'll be doing introduction to nursing you'll be doing stress management you'll be doing um turkish language it's not something you can omit it is compulsory you do turkish language and it's a two credits unit all right so you have to do it okay so just have that in the back of your mind if you are coming down here to study, know that you are going to do Turkish language, okay? You'll be doing biochemistry, you'll also be doing principles of Atatürk and history of Turkish revolution. Because we all know that in North Cyprus, we are governed by Turkey and so we have to know how Turkey came about, okay? So that's you will also be doing. And um, you also be doing campus orientation, you'll be doing information management in nursing and you'll be doing Cyprus history and culture, alright? Out of these um, 12 courses, just two out of them are zero credit units, okay? Make sure to pass them, like you don't have to fill those courses in the sense that you shouldn't score anything below 50 in those courses, okay? You can have a 51 over 100, it's not going to affect your GP in any way because it's a zero credit unit, alright? But if you have below 50, of course, you have to carry it with the course over and re rewrite the course, okay? And so those two courses that have zero credit units are Cyprus history and culture and um, campus orientation. So those two courses are zero credit units. So moving on to the courses for second semester hundred level, we have about nine courses you'll be doing in your second semester hundred level, and they are fundamentals of nursing. Guys, this particular course, eh, make sure to study real hard for it because just this course has thirteen credit units and. If you don't pass this course, like if you don't score very well in this course, of course it's going to affect your GP. Like it's the only course that can bring your GP from maybe a 4.0 to 2.0. I am telling you, this particular course, Fundamentals of Nursing, has the highest credit unit in second semester 100 level. So you need to pay very keen attention to studying this particular course and making sure to pass this particular course very well. Try not to have a 7 because near a system of grading is, is, is exceedingly high compared to to Nigeria system of grading because I did my first degree in Nigeria, right? Of course, you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you would know I've studied I studied anatomy in Nigeria before I came down to study nursing here in Near East University. And in Nigeria, the highest GP is a 5.0. Yeah, hope I'm right, yes. But here in Cyprus, in North Cyprus, near East University, the highest GP is 4.0. So like 4.0 here in near East University is a first class, but in Nigeria, 5.0 is a first class, right? And the way they grade here in near East University, their system of grading is exceedingly high. I'm going to explain to you shortly by what I mean by the grading system of near East University. How high their grading system is. I mean, their grading system here is exceedingly high. So you should... You should bear in mind not to have this course even a 70 over 100 of course we all know that in nigeria a 70 over 100 is an a but here in yes university a 70 over 100 is a cb you get like it has already destroyed your gp already like if you fail this particular course if you have a 70 over 100 in this particular course you do not do well but in Nigeria, if you have a 70 over 100 in this particular course, of course, you already have an A. I don't know if you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to share with you shortly what I mean by 
the grading system of Nias University because the grading system here in this country is exceedingly high. So you should, if you want to have an A here in Nias University, you should target 90 over 100. 90, 91, 92, up to 100. But if it's got anything below 90, just know that you're not having an A in, this part, in that particular course, okay? Yeah, I don't know if you get what I mean, but once I explain to you the grading system, I'm sure you understand what I mean, all right? So let's proceed. So the second course you'll be doing for your second semester 100 level is communication in nursing, microbiology, you do that as so microbiology is one course that you have to, <laughs> you have to study it so hard and you have to know their name, like the names they use in, in microbiology are quite big, I don't know if you get what I mean. So you really need to study the microbiology, although microbiology here is two credit units, all right, but still, you still have to pass, is it not? So you have to know the names, you have to learn them very well in order to pass this particular course, okay? Yeah, then you also be doing professional nursing, you'll be doing, yeah, Turkish language again, yeah, you do Turkish language your first semester and you do it in your second semester, 100 level, but after your 100 level, you are no longer doing Turkish language, all right? You also be doing principles of Ataturk and history of Turkish revolution. Yeah, you'll be knowing about the, the revolution of Turkey and all of those. Yeah, you also be doing career planning. You'll be doing health assessments. Ah, you'll be doing social responsibility. For social responsibility, that particular course, you don't, uh, there is nothing like um, lecture notes or whatsoever. This particular course is just a project that your lecturer will give to you, like, um, she will just assign maybe 10, 10 persons in the group. You guys will group yourself and maybe as group A, 10 persons in another group, group B, group C, group D, like that. You go and render services to you could like for for example when I was in when I when I did my own project, I was in group. Oh god, I've forgotten the particular group I was, I've forgotten the particular group. But I'm group A or group B, I'm not so sure. Sorry, group A, yes, I was in group A. Ah, can I forget my group going? <laughs> I was in group A guys, yes. So we, we went to the orphanage, we bought a whole lot of things, like some people went to the hospital, some people went to people with um, special needs, like those that are deaf, those that can't see, different kind of services, like that's how we were grouped, alright? So that's just for the social responsibility. You don't have to write any exam, this particular course, no exam for you, it is your first your exam, alright? If you don't participate, of course, the lecture will not give you your mark, alright? So, that's basically it for the courses you do in your 100 level, yeah. That's basically it. So, guys, bear this in mind. You'll be doing Turkish language. You'll be doing history of Turkey. And then, these fundamentals, guys, make sure to come prepared. You have to, you have to study that course very well. If you really, if you really want to have a very good GP because if you fail these fundamentals, guys, your GP is dropping down to maybe 2.0, I don't know. But if you pass this course, just know that you are skyrocketing 3 point something up to 4.0, okay? So guys, let me explain to you what I mean by Near East system of grading, okay? So that when you come down to study here in Near East University, if you are acquainted with your system of grading and you'll be prepared, right? You'll be prepared for it. Okay. All right, guys. So this is what our new system of reading looks like. Um, uh, it says Yakin Dogu University, which means Near East University, Faculty of Nursing, and it says Dear Student, the exam grading systems will be applied throughout the Near East University from 2018 to 2019 spring semester is as follows. Guys, this was published in the year 2018, but up to now, this um, to this present 2022, this is the same grading system that Near East University is using. All right, so it says um, 90 to 100, the grade is AA and the credit rate is 4, 4.0. 80, 85 to 89, it's a BA and the credit rate is 3.5. 80 to 84 is a BB and the credit rate is 3.0. 75 to 79 is a CB and the credit rate is 2.5. 70 to 74 is a CC and the credit rate is 2.0. 60 to 69 is a DC and the credit rate is 1.5. 
50 to 59 is a dd and the credit rate is 1.0 then 49 and below is an ff and the credit rate is zero so that you can see how high our system of grading is 90 to 100 is an a you get but in nigeria from 70 to 100 is an a you see we are at 74 zone. 70 to 74 here in yes university is a cc and the credit rate is 2.0 so guys imagine if you had fundamental 70 over 100 that means you had a cc in your results compared to maybe if you're in nigeria you're studying nursing and you had a 70 over 100 of course it's an a but here in this country you're having a cc so you have to target if you actually want to have an A in that fundamentals. And you know fully well that fundamentals is the only course because it has a certain credit unit that can push your GP very high. Like it's the only course that can help raise your GP up or bring your GP very down, you get. So you have to target having a 90 over 100 or even maybe an 85 over 100 if actually you really want your GP to be exceedingly high. But if you don't do well in that particular course, for example, maybe you have a, a 75 or a 70, of course, you didn't do well in that course and your GP is not really going to be impressive. You get what I mean? So, so this is basically what um, near a system of grading looks like. So hopefully, guys, once you are coming down here to study, bear this in mind that this is how near a system of grading is so that you can come here prepared. All right. So that's just basically it all right guys i'm coming to the end of today's video here i just hope this video was quite informative i hope you learned one or two things you need to know about the courses you'll be doing if you come down here to study nursing and also the near east system of grading i just hope you learned one or two things about all of those that i mentioned all right so guys till i see you in my next video don't forget to like this video please don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel okay do want to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can be getting more informative videos as this all right so till i see you in my next video bye